You know, we're all familiar with the parable of the Good Samaritan. It's probably one of Jesus' most beloved and well-known parables about the man on his road to Jericho who falls victim to robbers. A priest passes by, a Levi passes by, and they ignore him. But it is the Samaritan, the outcast of Jesus' time, the unexpected character who shows the man compassion. And St. Luke's Gospel tells us that when the Samaritan saw the victim, his heart was moved with compassion. Compassion comes from the Latin word to suffer with, literally to enter in to the passion, the suffering, the difficulty of another. And as followers of Christ, we are called to have compassion. For compassion does not keep someone else at arm's length, but instead it gets our hands dirty. It gets us involved. It puts our plans and our schedule on hold to help someone else. And you know, sometimes people get compassion and pity mixed up. Pity is a much more arm's length kind of emotion. We look at someone and we feel sorry for them, but then on social media we rant and rave that someone should do something to fix the situation. That's pity, because it puts the emphasis and the responsibility on someone else. I don't get my hands dirty, I don't get my time involved, I don't really do anything. I recognize someone's in need, but I don't do anything to help. Jesus wants disciples to have compassion, not pity. Because pity is an emotion that might make us recognize the need in someone else, but we don't do anything to help them. Compassion, on the other hand, stops what we're doing to come to the need of our brothers and our sisters. My friends, as disciples of Jesus, we need to have compassion, not pity. It's not someone else's job to do something to fix the problems of our world. It's our job to do our part to make a difference. Whether that's making a casserole, making a donation, donating the clothing we don't need, giving more to charity. Those little things are the things that someone, namely us, are called to do to have compassion on those who are in need. The story of the Good Samaritan is not just a nice parable we're supposed to know. It's a parable we're supposed to live by being Good Samaritans in our world. Not a homily or sermon, but something for all of us to think about.